right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand, this is not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Palm Springs, California, El Diablo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Punch over the top. a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, spinning back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Connects with a right. What a punch. Oh, 
look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. There, swinging a miss by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice counter jab there. Nice kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Able to check the high kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice slip and counter there by Lee. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, man, he could be hit with one of those knees to the body. Big punch land. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Second round, straight ahead. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him today. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, what a punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Blocks the shot. Beautiful leg kick throw. 
Another shot lands upstairs. Ooh, big shot lands. What a tricky head kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh! Nice high kick. but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Just over three minutes now to go. Kick, nothing doing there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. A scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Head kick lands. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. I want that takedown now. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Big head kick. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Right. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Big punch lands to the middle. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed 
he was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent's Right eye. at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Straight punch lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. What a fight we got going on here! Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Ooh. pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, collar tie. Right there by Lee. Let's get some points. Let's get that takedown going. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Oh, and he caught the kick. Knee to the body. Blocked. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Hands higher, hands higher. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. That's a big strike right there. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books.
the pace on this guy. They All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Look at the turtle in that kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Beautiful body kick. He blocked the shot. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Big kick lands. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Let's go, let's go, it's a warning. Sneaky head kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Able to check that kick as well. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Nice leg kick. Under two minutes to go. Keep moving. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Blocks the shot. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. Just missed with the left there. Nice loop and punch. Big head kick land. Good work getting in the way of that knee. Oh, and he caught the kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, 
big body kick lands. 20 seconds left. Big leg kick lands. Lands a switch knee. He blocks the punch. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Your last round, you outstruck you. Had more power shots, he was more aggressive. This time, I need you to dig deep. I need you to get in there close and pound all right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Nice leg kick land. Oh, big punch land. Such a fast leg kick. Head kick. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Checks the light kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Back and forth we go here. Check these low leg kicks. Just misses with the jab there. Big head kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Set him up. Keep the movement. Way to hide that leg kick. Under three minutes now to go round five. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Leg kick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Nice straight punch. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the way. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to put everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Beautiful punch. Powerful leg kick land. Liver kick. Wow. Doubling up on the jab. Side leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. You 
can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. You've got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A little bit. It's horrible. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Nice punch land. Fight the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. He went high on that one. How good is that jab by Lee? Beautiful body. And kick. both fighters exchange in the pocket. Going orthodox now. What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 50-45, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was